So, hi guys. I uh, woke up this morning, nice and early. Thought, I oh know, I'm going to take the RX10 Mark IV and uh, try the new 10 stop ND filter I've got for it. See how the camera performs with uh, obviously a very dense piece of glass in front of its uh, uh, lens and sensor. So, anyway, uh, weather forecast uh, was completely inaccurate as usual by the uh, UK weather forecasters, and uh, yeah, it was raining. <clears throat> but um, I thought, you know, I'm still going to go because the clouds looked quite moody. Um, so I headed out towards Dungeness, which is in just in the sort of East Sussex Kent border. It's just into into Kent, and uh, as you can see, the the roads were absolutely soaking wet. And lucky I had a dustbin lorry clearing the uh, the massive puddles out of my way, which was nice. Um, once I got to Dungeness, I sat in the car for ten minutes. I could see a nice big blue bit of sky heading my way, so I just stayed in the car for ten minutes or so. And then uh, had a little wander um, over to the beach along the pathway, and also there was a um, it's an old building that's been renovated, and it's basically not going to be a holiday home. And there was a guy there, so I quick chat to him. And they've got the lighthouses, and uh, I went for the the white and black one, uh, which is a more modern lighthouse to use as the uh, the subject. And uh, then also walked to down down to the uh, the sea there. Um, this is right next to um, Dungeness Nuclear Power Station, and it's basically a big, massive waste ground. But it's it's also a big fishing uh, industry there. Um, but I say big; it's um, it's still going, but it's not huge. But um, it's been there for a long, long time. Um, yeah, so as you can see, the 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 tide was I think it was going out, but it was basically hit, starting to hit the um, like a little ridge there. So that's why it was crashing like the, as you can see there really really cool um, and they just cruise past and every now and again you get small ones and you get a massive one um, the wind was uh, coming from the north so an offshore breeze um, absolutely freezing cold um, probably a minus four ish uh, degrees centigrade as the chill factor um, and I was out for about an hour I suppose and uh, the only thing that really suffered with my fingers because obviously camera bodies are uh, change temperature and also metal tripods um, as well so <clears throat> uh, other than that it was absolutely fine but as you can see there the weather system is actually moving away and uh, I'm just there snapping away uh, doing a few shots um, I took some normal shots um, as you'll see in a second but also some 30 second exposures that's the best in that light it's quite sunny um, the light was quite harsh but it allowed me to get up to um, 30, 30th of sorry, 30 seconds um, exposure um, shooting it anywhere between depending if the sun was out or behind a cloud sort of f10 to f16 ISO 100 um, I could have gone a little bit longer uh, could have moved into the bulb situation but I didn't I just thought 30 seconds is, is plenty uh, you're gonna get a nice movement of the clouds because it's quite windy um, and here's some slow motion so I thought while I'm here I do some slow motion um, first one was uh, 250 frames a second this one was at 500 as is this one um, all in manual so uh, f5.6 those those were shot at to give you a little bit more depth and uh, just to control the exposure as well because when you're shooting into the sun like that um, it's very easy to um, blow out um, the water blowing back up into the air so uh, you have to sort of darken the uh, exposure down a little bit just to sort of bring it out because obviously it's backlit um, but it worked really really well so um, here's a couple of shots um, this one's just just a black and white snap really you've got the old railway um, line which was not really a railway it's just sort of like they push their fishing carts along the, the line um, shooting straight into the sun f16 um, the car in the shot there um, as you can see there it's got some water spray on the lens which I couldn't actually see uh, until obviously I've taken the shot here's some of the pylons from the power station I just thought it was quite cool um, it's quite a dominant shot um, apparently they're all left-handed not really sure why um, here's the lighthouse so this was after the weather had cleared and as you can see there lovely blue sky um, these are straight out of the camera and uh, really really nice exposure there and the light was just nice and the visibility was actually really quite good. It was and that's some um, Hastings in this distance there, so I'd imagine fifteen miles away, something like that. 
I'm not too sure where you can see the cliffs there. Um, and then the other way, and as you can see there, the uh, the cloud cover was moving south, and those two fluffy white clouds there, and the little grey ones, were the last ones to go. And then after that, it was just blue sky. Uh, and uh, it was a tarmac. I'm guessing it's a dredger of some sort. Not really quite sure, but he was cruising around, um, not far off the shore at all. Um, but where you've got Dungeness, it's sort of one of the narrowest points of uh, of the English Channel, so you, you do get the ships quite close. Uh, and I quite like this shot because the, the lighthouse is poking over the top of the shingle, but also you've got a few little white, uh, white and grey fluffy clouds there just to break up the sky. Um, and that shot there, very similar, but slightly even wider angle. Um, let's say all, all shot with the RX-10 Mark IV, so obviously 24 to 600 millimeter range, um, and uh, it works really, really well. Uh, still over a year, year of owning it, and it's, it still blows me away every day. Um, so it definitely will be interesting to see what they bring out next when they upgrade it. Uh, some light rays here. So this shot here, um, quite a high speed, about a thousandth of a second, um, f/8. And a uh, crashing wave there, and a uh, nice little yellowy sky on this one here as well. Um, actually, at F4, and um, that's still a thousandth of a second, so you see, see the light difference there, um, which worked quite well. Uh, another couple of shots here, and it's almost like a double wave, as you can see there. There's a secondary bit underneath that's actually crashing over as well. Uh, which I quite liked. I thought well, that's a bit weird. I've never seen that before, but I think it's because it's like a shelf. Right, so here's one of the uh, 10 stop UV filters. So that's a 30 second exposure, um, F16. And uh, obviously, this, the sea's gone like a sort of misty, misty sort of effect, and the clouds, obviously, as well. This shot here was, um, I took quite a few to get it right, but um, a 0.6 of a second. So, not just under, just over slightly half a second uh, exposure. To get the, uh, the sort of wave there, but also a bit of a misty wave. This one's another 30, th 30 second exposure um, on the walkway there. Obviously, shooting straight at the sun, so obviously, I can not blow the clouds out um, and have the movement. So, kind of a bit of a um, compromise there. Uh, this one here is the lighthouse. Quite like this one because it's quite sort of contrasty. Um, that's the clouds cruising past. Quite lucky, really, because in fact, once they're gone, that was it. I had no more clouds to play with. Uh, that's the colour version, um, but actually quite pleased how well the filter worked. Um, it's not a higher one. It's um, I'll put the description in in the below what it is. And this shot here, another 30 seconds exposure. Um, then I got a little visit from the police because <laughs> they wonder what I was doing because the camera was right down on the ground and they couldn't see it. Um, they wonder what I was doing. Just stood around. <laughs> um, Looking uh, awkward, I suppose. Um, loads of cormorants um, flying there. I don't seen that many at once, but um, yeah, they were cruising around quite a lot, um, which was uh, quite cool. And there's just another shot of the uh, the walkway there, just in black and white. It's quite handy having that walkway there because it's quite quite knackering walking across all those stones. And it's a good, I don't know, 250 meters or so over the stones to get to the beach. It was such down to the water's edge. Um, Lighthouse from the road, black and white. You can see all the moody clouds that we did have, um, and then ten minutes later, it was all pushed pushed south, and it was um, out to sea. So uh, quite lucky, really. And this was earlier on. I stopped uh, at Drury's Gap, which is near Canberra Sands, and uh, it was chucking down with rain, so I didn't really take too many shots uh, other than this seagull here, which kind of looks like it's been shot in the studio. Um, that's actually cloud in the background. That's how grey it was. And uh, straight out the camera, not touched anything. Um, and uh, I was like, whoa, that's crazy. So um, just lit, well, obviously a, a white seagull is going to show up a lot better than a dark um, cloud. So uh, another seagull there, uh, cruising past in black and white, which is kind of cool. Um, what have we got next? Then a couple of these, I think, are kind of a wader type bird without looking. Um, there's about four or five of them wandering around. It's quite cool, but I quite like the wet sand, so you've got the little reflections there as well. And then this is a, basically a groin that was completely sunk into the stone, so it must be an old one, but the circular part and just the definition and the uh, the, the textures of the stones, I think, work quite nicely. So that was quite cool. And uh, back to the lighthouse. Um, this is when I walked back, back to the car, and it was actually um, obviously blue skies and a little bit of cloud left, and that was it. So 
Um, and here's a time lapse of the uh, the water and everything when I was uh, down by the water. So it worked quite well. You can see how sort of active it was. Quite big, small, big, small. Um, on the wave uh, sort of durations and things. It was quite cool. So anyway, guys, hope that was uh, I don't know if interesting. Um, but yeah, the um, the ND filter does work quite well. I'm quite pleased with that. It's still giving me sharp images. So uh, yeah, anyway, so um, please subscribe, please click the notification bell, and don't forget if you want to ask any questions, uh, please do.